Nessie's here and I am bringing you the second part of March's The Verdict, Fab or Fail. So I guess this might need to be called The Final Verdict or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing that for. So I'm gonna hop right into it. And um, yeah, if there's anything, again, like I said with the last verdict, if there's anything in particular you would like for me to try out and get my opinion on, if there's any kind of focus you would like this to um, be on in the future, upcoming months, I realize that we are now in April, but this is from March. Um, so yeah, we'll just get back into it. But I will say that um, going forward, I'm just going to try to focus on five items instead of doing as many as I did for the sake of time. All right, so I'll get into it and I'll go with what I absolutely abhorred. So this is gonna be real easy. It's gonna be called, you know, it's either going to be fab or it's gonna be fail. That's it. Mm, that's all. Okay, so what is an absolute fail is this. Which I was really disappointed in. That's the Shea Moisture um, Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Shea Butter Lip Balm. And the reason why this is a fail, and it didn't cost that much, like again, I said it was, it's not $5. So there's that. But what got me with this, it smells nice. And um, yeah, it smells nice. And actually, it's kind of reminded me more of a lip gloss than a lip balm. But what makes it a fail to me is that whatever they put in it, I'm guessing the coconut, it was grainy and I hate that. And so I couldn't stand it. I gave this several times, and which is why this was so disappointing because this is actually really nice. Once it finally kind of gets sunken in underneath um, liquid lipsticks to me like because it does it's not greasy um it's just kind of glossy to start off with but it kind of when it dries down kind of soaks in it still leaves your lips kind of moisturized but the fact that this bad boy uh, once again is grainy that makes it a fail to me all right moving right on along something that i'm kind of indifferent about um is the one heck of a blot no i'm gonna make this one a fail too because i'm indifferent about it and that's the one heck of a blot primer which is supposed to be the instant perfecting power primer and it's supposed to be a, a matte mattifying pore shrinking from soap and glory it was okay i don't feel like it did any of that i didn't feel like i was super greasy but i didn't feel like it um really matted down my oily spots which is my t-zone so that's why this is kind of a fail even though it's cost efficient i think you should take your money and go get something from nick fit or something else because this was not it just wasn't it so i still basically have a full thing and i don't know if other people like it and if you want it i might send it to you but i didn't think it was all that and i gave this a month to try so it's a wrap fail so well yeah that's the only thing i have that i'm going to fail okay what is going to be a fab and um you will notice that some of the brushes i'm missing there are four brushes in this and that is the moda's four piece face perfecting kit and this is a um this is definitely a fab um, and I think I'm going to save even more of my thoughts on it because I'm going to think I'm going to do this as a this and that compared to the Artiste brushes. But for the cost and for the blending and the different brush sizes and day-to-day -day use, I would definitely give this a fab. If you can find these, go get you one. And they were at Walmart for, I got these for 16 like I said. People have been able to get them a little cheaper, but if you go online, people, other folks have said that it was like in the 20s. No, nah, this was 16 for me. Um, let's see. This um, diamond sponge from Real Techniques, it was fine. Um, it 
behave like any other sponge. Um, I didn't think it was anything special. I'm gonna say it's a fab because I like their sponges. They work like sponges. I have no, no beef with them. So that's a fab, but for the price, nothing to me is, um, is really beating, you know, of course a beauty blender. But this this is fine, but to me, if you're gonna get one, I would just get with their original one. Um, this is, but I would give it a fab because it's fine. It does what it's supposed to do as far as sponges go. I don't see anything particularly special with the shape, even though that was supposed to be the um, selling point. And that's what got me intrigued. But I guess you can, you can still, but you can do all that with a beauty blender or even their original sponge. So I don't see what all this was. Okay, so moving on, I've talked too much about that. Okay. Another something that I found to be absolutely fab was the Sephora Honey Lip Scrub. That's this. And I liked it because it does have the scrubbies in there. It does remind me um, of like the e.l.f. lip scrub. Um, I was thinking about doing that one for this or that, but I'll just go ahead and tell you because that won't be particularly long. Um, or I'll still do it for that one. Um, but with this, I found that I liked the balm that's actually in here. It is not as gritty, and they're about the same price. So I did like that. Ooh, you zoom in on me. Yeah. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I did like that. I feel like I was so far away from you guys. But that's how it looks. And they have other flavors. I believe they have a coconut one that is also the scrubbing, but it's just a nice moisturizer. And it is a little more gentler than like a Elf. So I would definitely get this. It's only a couple of dollars more, I think. Well, if you don't have a coupon, it's about the same. It's the same price, pretty much. I think I, this was six bucks. Well, it might be three from Elf. But yeah, I would, this is something very nice get it I feel like it's a little gentler and if you are a novice with scrubs for your lips or whatever this would be a good way to go into it too so yeah all right I found this um, L'Oreal Merciler cleansing water for normal to oily skin to be fab um, I like it as far as Merciler waters go they are it can sting a little bit when you get into your eyes, so that's the only thing. I'll that's gonna be another this that comparing it to the bioderma, but the bioderma that I use and that is now empty and gone was for kind of sensitive skin, at least sensitive around the eye. So the point was that you could really get in there and clean your makeup. Um, but I did think. I don't know if this necessarily did anything as far as mattifying, but I was doing it in a routine and I didn't feel super oily. So I will, I'll give them that. I didn't, so I'll give it to them. Fab. And um, consequently, consequently, what am I doing? The Hydrogenius Gel from them of the same line from L'Oreal for oily skin. I found this to be fab. I really like the consistency of this. It did remind me, oh, let me keep holding it up, of something that is kind of high end. So I did like that. It's just a nice consistency. It does you, I put it on usually at night because that's when I was doing my heavy removing of all my makeup. So that's when I did, what is it? I'm not trying to end no more. But yeah, this made a little dent. It's not super, as you can see, that's where I am. So, I just like the consistency of it. I mean, you know, nothing is beating that Tasha water gel. But, for the price and for this to be in the drugstore, this was really nice. And I didn't feel like it, it was lightweight. It did not leave me greasy, which is something that I appreciate. And all of us oily combination girls would appreciate too. I would definitely recommend getting this. Fab. Another thing that was fab is the St. Ives Exfoliating and Nourishing Coconut Oil Scrub Focus, which that is, I got this from Walmart Market. The other one I did find out that they do make another one that is the apricot and that's supposed to be a little more exfoliating, but I think I would stick with this one. Um, Cause I'm trying to, one, get away from scrubs on my face and now, 
talk about that in another video, but I do like the like liquid scrubs or the lactic acid that does like a gentler and the little gentle pills. Kind of like that, I prefer that to that. But if you wanna skip a step in your skin routine, and that's what makes this so good because you can definitely use this because it's like a gel, a oily gel to break down your makeup and you're exfoliating as you're rubbing it in. That is great. I don't know why more people have not come out with something like this. That is a good idea so you don't have to exfoliate while you're doing it. So this was fantastic. Um, yeah, and I do like that the coconut is a little gentler than the apricot. The apricot is the one that is really, um, that is really exfoliating. That's it's a little too much, especially when you you're trying to break up your makeup. So you do it the same way. Um, and the consistency alone, like I don't. The one thing that I don't like about oils is that I feel like the oils are dripping, like can get in my eye. Although I would tell you to avoid your eye with this one because there are again scrub particles in it. But if you get a little bit on there, it's fine just because of the um oil. So as you can see, it's not super de duper chunky and. On the back, it has the um, exfoliating factor. Let's focus that. And so this is about a medium. So that's very nice. All right. Um, I like this enough that I got another one from Sephora, and that is the um, almond foot mask. Um, that's from their brand. And I know I said that it was like the um, Tony Moly, which I just happen to have right here. Um, but that's something else but this is not a peel um like that one so that's how I would compare them but this is like a treatment for your feet to leave it really moisturized and so my feet were very nice and soft and I thought that this was a good price for what it is because I know um, normally if you get Tony Moly those these socks can be up to like twenty dollars for those peels I just happen to get them on a sale or you know get them on Amazon but if you just get like straight from the site or like straight from Ulta or whatever without any kind of coupon it's like 20 bucks whereas this is six and you just buy them individually so I do I really like this and it is really nice and for you know the spring is up on us although you know the weather don't want to act like it sometimes but that's another drag for another day mother nature that <laughs> the mask on it is just your skin is so nice and if you kind of have like crackly heels or just your feet kind of ashy and if you just need some deep penetrating on it it's nice you can go ahead and put on and keep on doing whatever you want to do which i keep talking about this. i ain't gotta tell you like this no more but this is definitely fab okay and the final thing which I felt like was the fabulous of them all and I'm mad that didn't nobody tell me about this to now and that is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. Let me take this out. I was saving this a little bit for y'all but I need to clean my brushes today. Anyway, that is not, that's not better. But y'all, I'm so bad about cleaning my brushes, but this takes all the headache out of it. I love this so much that I got it from Ricky's and went ahead ooh, and bought another bottle. Ricky's had a sale and they were having some change out because I ain't gonna lie, this junk is expensive, but Ricky's was having like a 50% off sale, so of course I got some more and this ain't even the biggest bottle, but y'all, this is so good. It smells like cupcakes. It got all the dirt and stain out of my brushes. You know how hard it is to get brown makeup out of brushes that have white heads on them? My, let me, I'm just gonna have to show you one. Like, dog, really? No one ever told me this and I'm mad about it. And I've been here buying all this detergent and trying to work it out. And while I was still basically getting clean where the brown would not come off on my face anymore, that I finally got something that will take the stains out of it. This looks like it ain't never been used before. That's what I'm talking about. And I'm mad that didn't nobody tell me about it. But that's cool, I we'll see how y'all do. But that's that, I love this. 
and I think I'm going to get it some more from the VIB sale. Well, I don't, I don't know, I'm not. Well, cause the VIB sale is coming up this month. So, I, I don't know. Speaking of, well that's the rest of my this and that, so let me end this video out. Speaking of the VIB sale, um, I know I've seen some anti hauls on here, so would y'all be interested in seeing something like that? Maybe I'll do one in, um, right before the VIB sale hits about things that I don't think it's worth getting. I know I've done a Sephora rug, get this, not that kind of thing, or you know, how to shop the VIB sale, at least how I shop it. But, um, yeah, I mean, you can get whatever you want. It's your money and it's your coupon. But, yeah, so I'm rambling at this point. Hope you guys like this. Um, I'll see that I got some thumbs up and people commenting. And, but, you know, still bring those comments to tell me even to what to look at. What's new in the hood? Just like y'all didn't tell me about this. Although I'm not a professional makeup artist. So, I guess you and need but... If anybody else hates washing their brushes, y'all need to get y'all some of this too. And um, apparently, why am I whispering? But apparently, there's a Sally's dupe for this. I'm definitely gonna do that one in a this, not that. And the Sally's dupe is six dollars. We'll get into that in another video. All right, y'all have a good blessed rest of the day and remember that Nessie loves you bye and thumbs up and subscribe y'all come on bye